we may find mod median mean uh, quartile and percentile but now for group data apa beza group and ungroup for group data we must have class interval dia mesti ada class interval kat dalam kita punya data okey kita terus pergi kepada soalan eh formula ni semua diulang-ulang je nanti jawab soalan kita ingatlah formula tu Alright, so this is the example of the question. We have all together 84 customer that would be our frequency and then in the following table. So kalau nampak kat table tu, kita ada time tu, ada interval. Ah, uh, Automatic, this is group data. Ingat balik lah eh. Okay, number of customer that's for sure would be our frequency. F ke T. Okay, so calculate the mean, median, mod quartile, interquartile and P10. Okay, ada banyak benda nak cari tu. So, before we find all of those things in the table, kita kena tambah another two column. Kenapa benda ni membantulah banyak nak pakai. Okay, saya tambah sikit. Saya tambah kat tepi ni je lah ya. Okay. Alright. So, next column after frequency, kita mesti ada cumulative frequency. Macam mana nak dapatkan cumulative frequency? Summation of frequency. Tambahkan satu-satu data kita. Okay. Start with 5. 5 tak ada nak tambah siapa-siapa. Okay. Settle. Next. 5 plus with 13. So we get 18. Sambung lagi. 18 plus with 31. So we get 49. 49 plus 19. 68. And then plus with 8. We get 76. Last 4, 80 and then last one, 84. So for cumulative frequency to make sure you calculate it correctly, dia mesti sama dengan summation of frequency. Kita tambahkan semua satu kan? Okay. F besar. Cumulative frequency mesti F besar. Okay. And then next one, kita kena cari midpoint. Saya guna X. X in this case would be midpoint. Midpoint of our interval. How do we find in, uh, sorry, midpoint? Uh, dia mesti upper boundary plus lower boundary divided by 2. Saya tulis kat sini lah. Upper boundary plus lower boundary divided by 2. Macam mana nak dapat outer boundary? Depends on our interval. Kalau data kita ada gap macam ni. Apa maksud gap? Sini. Ini 5. Okay. Lepas tu 6 kan? So upper boundary dengan lower boundary kita mesti buat plus minus 0 0.5. Macam tu. Contohnya kat sini, uh, kalau untuk kes yang pertama, 1 up to 5, ini saya rasa awak tahu tapi saya ulang je lah untuk siapa yang terlupa. Lower boundary, kita kena minus 0.5. So, dia akan jadi 0.5. Upper boundary, plus kan dengan 0.5. So, we get 5.5 divided by 2. So, in this case, midpoint would be 3. Uh, macam tu. Ataupun awak nak kira pakai jari, ada orang yang kata boleh tak nak kira pakai jari? Ah boleh, tak ada masalah. Kalau interval tu kecil macam tu kan? Okay. So same lah for the next interval. Uh, kat sini patutnya 5.5 plus with 10.5 divided by 2. So our midpoint should be 8 and then 13, 18, 23, 28 and then last one would be 33. Okay. Dah settle tu, next part. Barulah boleh jawab soalan yang banyak-banyak ni. Okay. So for our question first one, calculate the mean. Okay. So for mean, mean, sometimes question use the notation of x bar. Dia tak cakap calculate mean. Dia kata calculate x bar. Uh, you must know lah that is basically mean. Benda yang sama. So our formula is fix summation of fx divided by summation of f. Okay, summation of fx maksudnya all the frequency times with the midpoint and then awak total up kan. This one you may use calculator kan. Masuk satu-satu. Ha, kira lah summation je. Jangan tersalah kira lah. Saya tak tunjuk lah kat sini. So summation of fx should be 1292. Divided by summation of frequency kita dah tahu tadi 84. So in this case our mean should be 15.38. Okay. Settle. First one, mean. Itu yang paling senang kan. Tak ada masalah. Moving on. B, median. 
Okay, yang ni dah start leceh sikit sebab dia formula. So, for median, before we start finding the median, we must obtain class median dulu. Penting class median ni kenapa? Sebab nak guna dalam formula. Okay, so for class median means half, median still half of our frequency. Frequency in this case would be 84. Okay, so half of 84 should be uh, 42. Kat mana nak dapat kelas? So 42 ni awak pergi cari kat bahagian cumulative frequency. Itu guna kita cari cumulative frequency tadi. Okay. So yang ni kena patah-patah balik ni sebab table kat atas. Alright. So cumulative frequency is 42. Okay kat sini. So saya highlight terus panjang-panjang. Saya highlight kali kuning. That would be our class median. So class median is from 11 up to 15. Okay. Saya patah balik ke bawah. <laughs> so our class is from 11 up to 15. Alright. Now we may start finding the median or Q2. So Q2 is basically tak perlu tulis formula. Exam dia bagi formula ataupun assignment awak boleh refer formula. Make sure awak tahu nak cari apa je. Saya tulis je formula kat sini dulu eh. So lower boundary plus with half of our frequency data minus with fre cumulative frequency before class median divided by frequency of class median. K to class median. Okay. Times with C. Size of our class. Ha, itu formula dia lah. Okay. Tak perlu apa ni. Awak make sure tahu nak masuk apa je. So kita cari one by one. So lower boundary. So tadi kita dah cari kelas. Class is 11. Ingat lower boundary tadi data tak bersambung. So you have to minus 0 0.5. In this case it should be 10.5. Lower mesti tolak. Apa mesti tambah? 0.5 tu. Okay. So lower boundary minus 0 0.5 we get 10.5. Plus with half of our frequency. So ini tak ada masalah lah. Half of 84 je. Minus with, okay, F besar tu cumulative frequency, K is class median. So kalau F K minus 1, cumulative frequency before class median. Okay, F kecil is frequency. So frequency of class median. Okay, saya patah balik pergi ke table. So dia ni kena ke patah-patah balik. Okay, saya dah highlight tadi color kuning tu. Alright, so kalau tadi kita dah ada that is the class median, cumulative Frekuensi before class median would be datang yang bahagian atas ni. Bahagian cumulative frekuensi ambil yang sebelum. So 18. Divided by cumulative, sorry, frekuensi of class median. So in this case 31. Yang tu. Okay, itu dua data lah yang kita nak pakai eh. So bila saya kena patah balik ke bawah. Okay. So minus, oh. Minus 18 divided by 31 times with size of class. Okay. Size of class awak boleh kira ya. From 11 goes to 15. So size class kita 5. Okay. And then compute this into your calculator. We should get 14.37. Okay. That's for median. Alright. Settle. Kita pergi soalan seterusnya. Next one. C. We have to find the mode. Okay. C is mode. Sama juga. Oh, sebelum nak mula mode, kita kena cari class mode dulu. How do we find class mode? Class mode would be class with the highest frequency. Class with highest frequency. F kecil eh, frekuensi. Okay, kalau kita tengok balik kat table tu, kelas yang ada highest frekuensi, uh, highest frekuensi 31. So, kebetulan lah dia sama dengan kelas median. Itu juga yang akan jadi kelas mode. Alright. So, kita punya kelas is still from 11 up to 15. Alright, now we may find the mode. So, mode. Oh, 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 oh. So, mode would be lower boundary plus with d1 over d1 plus d2 times size of the class. Okay. Uh, sama juga. Itu memang formula dia sentiasa macam tu. Dia keluar huruf macam tu je. Awak kena tahu nak cari satu-satu. Alright. So lower boundary is still the same. 
Itu tolak 0.5. So in this case we get 10.5. Okay. Now we have to find D1 and D2 times size of the class. Size of the class is D5 lah. Okay. D1 dengan D2 ni kita nak cari macam mana. Okay. Pergi balik kat table. Okay. Saya fokus sekarang. D1 will be frequency of class mode minus frequency before class mode. So frekuensi class mode kita 31, nak dapat D1 kena tolak dengan sebelum. Uh, that for D1. Okay. And then D2 will be frekuensi of class mode minus with frekuensi after class mode. Dia tolak atas, tolak bawah lah. Tolak atas dapat D1, tolak bawah dapat D2. Make sure you choose the correct frekuensi, highest frekuensi. D1 and D2 cannot be negative. Uh, dia tak logik lah sebab kita dah ambil highest frequency So tak boleh awak tolak tu tiba-tiba dapat jawapan negatif maksudnya Dah salah class Okay so ingat eh D1, D2 must be positive D1 frequency minus yang sebelum D2 frequency minus after Okay kita masuk balik dalam formula tadi Alright so D1 is uh, 31 minus 13 So op 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 D2 is 31 minus Apa tadi? 19 Alah tak muat lah pula Sekejap 19 Times with size of class 5 Okay So uh, calculate Using calculator For this case we should get 13.5 The simple je Make sure faham formula nak isi apa Okay, settle with class mode. Eh sorry, settle with mode. Okay, kita pergi seterusnya. We have to find Q1 and Q3 in the quartile range and P10. Okay, yang ni kita dah boleh pergi laju sikit sebab quartiles and percentiles using the same formula beza dia kat bahagian data je. Saya highlight kat sini. Ah, uh, Formula dia sama je. Quartile, percentile tapi beza dia kat sini. Yang saya highlight kali kuning. Ah, uh, Kalau Q2 tadi half. Kuatan kalau Q1, 1 over 4 Kalau Q3, 3 over 4 Kalau persentai, tukar jadi per 100 Itu je, yang lain semua-sama Lower boundary, cumulative frequency before Frequency of the class, time size class Yang lain semua-sama Okay So kita pergi yang ke Apa tadi? Yang ke 3 Eh sorry, yang keempat D Kita nak kena cari Q1 dulu Sama awak kena cari kelas Q1 So kelas Q1 will be Quarter of our data So in this case we get 41 Tengok kat cumulative frequency eh, jangan salah Kebetulan kat sini, still yang saya highlight tu Kebetulan dia sama lah Dia dapat same class as Q2 So class of Q1 Is still from 11 up to 15 Okay, bila kelas dah sama, maksudnya semua maklumat dia sama je dengan Q2 kecuali bahagian yang saya highlight tadi. Saya patah balik kejap. Pergi kat sini. Okay, maksudnya kat sini semua maklumat kita sama, jawapan takkan sama sebab bahagian yang saya highlight colour kuning ni je yang kita kena ubah. Instead of half, we should change to quarter lah sebab quartile kan. Q1, dia jadi 1 over 4. Yang lain semua sama lah sebab the same class. Median sama, cumulative frequency sama, frequency pun akan sama. Size of class for sure lagi lah sama. Okay, so, saya salin semula je lah. Alright, so our Q1 now should be lower boundary 10.5. Okay, plus with, ingat yang ni kena tukar. Quarter times 84 lah. Minus cumulative frequency sama tadi 18 divide by frequency 31 times with size class 5. Uh, okay. Alright. So this would be equal to Q1 is 10.98. Settle. Okay. Kita pergi kawan dia. Dia nak Q3 pula. Okay. Q3. 3 quarter lah kan. 3 over 4 times with 84. So in this case kita akan dapat, dapat apa tu? Saya kena keluarkan kereta lah. Oh tak dah tak berfungsi pula balik bagi ni. Uh, 41 times 3. 123. Eh apa pula saya mengarut ni. Oh, 
Oh yang atas ni tadi dapat 21 Saya salah eh <laughs> Sorry yang atas tadi saya salah Okay atas tu 21 yang ni 63 oh, Okay <laughs> Alright thank you tadi siapa sebut 63 So 63 tengok kat cumulative frequency Okay alright so sekarang dia dah pergi Kelas yang bawah ni lah Saya highlight colour biru Dia dah tak sama Kelas kita dah berbeza Okay, so ingat dua benda kita kena cari Kita mesti guna dia punya cumulative frequency before So in this case 49 Divided by frequency of the class So in this case 19 So dah tak sama eh dengan Q1 tadi Jangan pakai data yang sama Dah berbeza kat situ Alright, so now substitute into the formula Class kita now dah jadi from 16 Sorry, class of Q3 is from 16 up to 20 Okay, so our Q3 should be lower boundary. So lower boundary, jangan lupa kena tolakkan 0.5 just now. So 15.5 plus with 3 quarter of our data minus cumulative frequency before. Tadi kita dah, uh, saya dah apa, bulatkan tadi 49 divide by frequency of the class 19 times 5. Size class tak akan berubah lah. Size class always the same most of the time. Okay. Uh, settle lah kita punya Q3. In this case we get 19.18. So that's for Q3. Settle. Okay. Kita pergi next one. E. Interquartile range. So for interquartile range, remember tadi saya ada cerita kadang-kadang dia guna IQR ni dalam box plot tadi. Okay. So it's fixed Q3 minus Q1. Dia benda yang sama, sentiasa. Okay. So Q3 is 19.18 minus with Q1, Q1 is 10.98. So we get 8.2 lah. Ha, dia senang je yang tu kan Provided that Q3 and Q1 is correct lah Kalau kat tadi sebelum tu kita cari ngarut Ngarut lah dia jumpa kat situ Alright Last one F P10 Percentile Okay So for percentile Sama je formula dia dengan median Dengan kuota sama Kecuali bahagian yang saya Highlight colour kuning tu Sama juga So sekarang if it's percentile Dia jadi over 100 ha. So soalan tu minta P10 P10 kan Salah, salah, salah pen. Okay. P10. So dia akan jadi 10 out of 100 times frequency. Kalau dia minta let's say lah P12. So 12 out of 100 times with frequency. The rest of the formula is the same. Tak ada ubah apa-apa pun. Okay. So last one for today. Kita pergi dengan lajunya. F. Sama kita kena cari class for P10 first. So 10 out of 100 times with 84. So in this case kita akan dapat 8.4 So janganlah ambil 8.4 pergi the next one lah kan Kita akan dapat data yang ke 9 Frequency number 9 So frequency number 9 Look up at your table Frequency dia 9 Okay Cumulative frequency Bukan frequency sorry Okay Cumulative frequency 9 Okay yang atas tu sampai 5 je Tak cukup lagi So kita kena pergi the second interval Saya so, highlight colour Hijau. Harap ni nampak lah. Okay. Ada kat situ. Alright. So ingat tadi kita mesti ambil dua data kan. Cumulative frequency before. So in this case kita nak guna 5 uh, divided by frequency of the class. 13. Itu dua nombor yang kita nak pakai. Alright. So now we substitute into the formula. Okay, saya patah balik. So, class of P10 is from 6 to 10 tadi kan? Okay, so P10 now should be lower boundary. So, 5.5 plus with 10 out of 100 times with our frequency. Alright, minus cumulative frequency before. 5 divided by frequency of the class. 13 times with size of the class. 5. Okay, masuk kalau ada dalam calculator. So, our answer should be 
Settle.